There was a time I could sit through an entire meeting, just sit there, frozen, except for my eyeballs, stock still, not paying any attention to the content, just thinking, don't write your grocery list, don't scratch your leg, don't adjust too much in your seat, until I stopped pretending stopped hiding and stopped masking that I have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD as we commonly call it. You may know it as that weird kid from third grade who is always wired. You've almost certainly heard it as the butt of jokes everywhere. Masking, for those who are unfamiliar, is changing who we are and how we would naturally act to fit in to societal norms. Many people do this to avoid discrimination. With ADHD, this often looks like changing our behavior to appear neurotypical. It's draining, stressful, and it can lead to mental illness, including anxiety and depression. It can also negatively impact our relationships and our careers. Imagine yourself in that meeting, and all you're thinking is, don't move, don't move, don't move, instead of paying attention to the meeting. So why do we do it? Well, first, and most importantly, because this is how we've been trained. As ADHD children, we've received the message that how we are is not okay. Good kids, sit still, be quiet, and do things how and when everyone else does. And if we can't, there's something fundamentally wrong and bad about us. We are Pavlov's dogs, if Pavlov was a real asshole. We also mask out of fear, fear of rejection and the stigma surrounding ADHD. I remember when kids and teachers first started telling me that I was weird. It was 1980s Virginia, and my favorite color was black. I thought it was beautiful. For Mother's Day, I made the most stunning thing I could think of, an entirely black tissue paper flower. Yes. As it turns out, black is not an acceptable color for a tissue paper flower in 1980s Virginia. My teacher called home to inform my mother that I was depressed and very likely psychotic. My mother, completely unfazed, said, nah, she just really likes black. She's ADHD too. Sometimes I just want to sit weird in a chair. We tend to be creative and have lots of energy. So one of the traits of ADHD is that we sit in unique positions. When I began to dive in and learn more things like this about my ADHD, and connected with my community, that's when I realized how much I was involuntarily masking. Enough was enough. My energy is too precious to spend it making other people feel comfortable. I gave myself permission to take off my neurotypical mask. It was scary, yes, but it was also liberating. The tension of trying to appear normal lifted. I met the real me for the first time. My relationships also changed. They improved and became more honest. I was able to explain my behavior and ask for support. My husband and my best friends ended up setting up group calendars so I can track all the upcoming events. They even put their birthdays and travel dates in there so I don't have to feel bad that I can't keep all of that in my head. Now, I wish I could tell you that once you unmask, it's a rosy path ahead. Unfortunately, that is not always the case. We live in a society that often fails to understand neurodivergence. However, I've lived that and it's tough, but it's not as tough as having to deny who you really are. It's also, not as tough as having to go through your days pretending that you're a different person. 
Now, we don't have to do this alone. Support from others can be very helpful, including our friends, family, and our communities. That brings me to an important point. What do we do about the discrimination? We challenge it. If we are privileged enough to disclose, we should. We can ask for accommodations and be our own best advocates. But that same support can be invaluable. That brings me to an important point. It's not just about us unmasking our ADHD. It's about the world changing its perception. It's about creating an environment where people are welcomed as they are. ADHD is not a curse, and it's not a mark of shame to be hidden. It's a unique way of experiencing the world. It's a part of who we are. I stand here today no longer pretending, no longer hiding, no longer masking, proud of my ADHD. I invite you all to help create a world where no one has to mask, a world that celebrates neurodiversity, a world that celebrates the black roses. Thank you. <laughs>